Bill O'Reilly here. Welcome to the No Spin News. Thursday, December 15th, 2022. Stand up for your country. You may remember, if you follow us, that we reported a story on November 11th of this year. A guy named Manuel Pagan arrested in New York City with 22,000 fentanyl pills. 22,000 fentanyl pills. Now, what does that mean? The dope pushers buy these pills, and Manuel is actually transporting them to the dope pushers, the people on the street. They, they're capsules. So they knock it down, the capsule, and they take the fentanyl inside and they sprinkle it onto heroin, cocaine, methamphetamine, whatever it may be, to make the drug more potent. Okay? And fentanyl can stop your heart, can kill you. Everybody knows that. So we have hundreds of thousands of dead Americans every year because of this fentanyl, all right? And it's manufactured primarily the ingredients in it. It's man-made, all right, in China, sent to Mexico to the cartels. They smuggle it across because of President Biden's open border policy. It's easy. So uh, Pagan gets 22,000 capsules, and he brings them into New York City, and he's going to sell them. But that's not what he's charged with. And that is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Because of the insane criminal justice system we have here in New York City and New York State, Manuel Pagan was charged with possession. Not possession with intent to sell, which is obviously what he was doing, okay, but just simple possession. Like you'd have two capsules in your pocket. So... He was released without bail. Shocking. Shocking, irresponsible, whatever adjective you want to put on it. It was sickening, particularly if you have family members who are dead from drugs or you know people who have died from drugs. Now, this is what I said. Go. Sign of the Times, New York City. Dope dealer. Manuel Pagan, 49 years old, Washington Heights. That's Upper West Side, way up. In Manhattan, cops arrest him 20,000 fentanyl pills, 20,000 for Manuel, released on his own recognizance, no bail, charged with criminal possession of a controlled substance. Possession? Possession? 20,000 pills? Think Manuel is going to use 20,000 fentanyl pills? It should be possession with intent to sell. That get Manuel 10 years in the state penitentiary. No. Nope. Now, Manuel will never be seen again. He's due back in court December 15th. He's gone. He'd never come back. Well, today is December 15th, but he came back, and I was wrong. But there's a reason I was wrong, okay? Not an excuse reason, but a valid reason I was wrong. So he did answer his hearing today with his court-appointed attorney, which means he doesn't pay any money, a woman named Molly Kalmus, okay? They did not enter a plea. The district attorney, Alvin Bragg, is soft on crime as any uh, law enforcement officer in the country. This guy doesn't want to put anybody away. His office says that Pagan is going to remain on the street, no bail, and that they're going to have discussions about a possible resolution of his case. Again, he didn't enter a plea. So what does this mean? It means that Bragg, the DA, made a deal with this Pegar that he's going to say who gave him the 20,000 fentanyl pills. You know, this is how it works. But you don't have to do it this way. All right, you can charge him with possession, and he's facing 10 to 20. That's when you make your deal. But the guy came back with assurances from the DA through his court-appointed attorney that, A, he'll be able to walk right out, which he did, okay, and, B, that there'll be a quote-unquote resolution. So we're going to follow this to the end, but the odds of Manuel Pagan getting jail time are... Zero. He'll flip. Now, the only danger Manuel is, 
that the people who sold him the fentanyl might clip him. So Manuel better watch his butt because that's what this is all about. There's a deal in the making here. But again, they don't have to go about it this way. So why am I reporting this story? Well, number one, it's outrageous, okay? And number two, it shows you that many law enforcement people, not the police per se, but above, the prosecutors, the governors, the mayors, they don't care whether your kid dies of fentanyl. Fentanyl is in a high priority for them. Biden doesn't care. And I mean that literally, does not care. Yeah, I'll give lip service to it because they have to. But if they really cared about people dying from drug ODs, they get tough on the drug pushers. But drug pushers from Seattle to Key West, they know even if they're caught selling the worst drugs in the world, fentanyl, heroin, methamphetamine, cocaine, not much is going to happen to them anymore. They're going to walk. They'll bust it down a simple possession, whatever it may be. So what is this? What is this? I mean, what is this? And you always come back to the fact that most of the drug dealers in this country are minorities. That's what this is all about. And the Alvin Braggs of the world, put his picture up there again, please. Um, He doesn't want to put people of color in prison. He just doesn't want to do it. He wants to decarcerate this guy. Now, in Philadelphia, it's so bad that they're impeaching the DA there, Larry Krasner. And my sources in Pennsylvania tell me Krasner would probably get convicted and booted out, just like the guy in San Francisco. But Bragg in New York is safe. But it just, it just drives me crazy to hear all this lip service about Oh, yeah, we have to get them help, and we have to do this, and we have to do that. They don't care. They don't care. I mean, it's shocking. It's absolutely shocking. The President of the United States could not care less about people dying from drug overdoses. He could not care less about six million foreign nationals pouring in here unsupervised. He just doesn't care. It's so shocking. Usually in the past, they faked it, all right? They faked it. Oh, yeah, I, 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 yeah. They don't bother doing that anymore, these progressives. Eh, you know, we don't want to put uh, minority people in prison because the system's biased against them, on and on and on and on. That's a memo. Inflation at its highest level in 40 years. Interest rates skyrocketing, we all know that. Market experts like Jamie Dimon, CEO of J.P. Morgan, not only predict a recession, but are using scary terms like economic hurricane and unprecedented. So you need to call the only precious metal dealer I trust, American Hartford Gold. They will show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Please call them today and they will have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. They have thousands of satisfied customers of the highest rated firm in the country with an A plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. Tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you and they'll give you up to $2,500 of free silver on your first order. Please call 866-501-5201, 866-501-5201 or text Bill to 65532. Again, 866-501-5201 866-501-5201 or text bill to 65532. Let's go to the mail. We got George Sepetriliak, Largo, Florida. So the network and cable news ratings are low and they aren't coming back. I agree. But when they ignore the dreadful border story, not to make Biden look bad, shouldn't it not matter much because hardly anyone is watching. That's true that a lot of people aren't watching, but then they don't know about the catastrophe down there. So it's a double-edged sword. Stacey Gilmore, Sioux Falls, South Dakota, regarding the recent prisoner exchange of Brittany Griner for Victor Boot, 
I've heard you comment several times, O'Reilly, that President Biden didn't have a choice. If Paul Whelan wasn't an option, could have chose to make no trade at all. That's what I would have done. It's pretty cruel. You keep that woman over there when you can get her out. So we have a disagreement. Polite, Stacy, But I, I would have gotten her out. Jerry Groin, Libertyville, Illinois. Bill, watched you on Cuomo show, liked it. You're right. There are other programs. There are no other programs that allow for debate now. Also, your points were on target, but I don't think Cuomo listened to you. So what? <laughs> I don't care. I don't care what he listens to. All right. I'm happy he has me on the program so that other people can hear it. I'm not in the business of converting anybody. All right. That's not what I do. I put forth a strong, cogent, fair argument. You take it or leave it. Richard, concierge member, please consider concierge membership for Christmas gifts. You'll, you'll change people's lives for the better if you do. Great gift. Diversity and inclusion means nothing more than avoid hiring a Caucasian and certainly not a Caucasian male. In some places, that's true, but not everywhere. Michael, recently on a cruise, we sat next to a married gay lesbian couple. They were extremely nice. We exchanged pleasantries and everybody had a great time. Right on. That's it. You know, people who make judgments about that, uh, you should rethink that. People are people. As long as they're not trying to force anything on you. Susan Mosenek, San Bruno, California. Your recommendation of gibberish as a word of the year instead of the one chosen, made me laugh out loud. Gibberish is the word of the year. How much gibberish have we heard? I mean, just Kamala Harris alone. <laughs> just just her, her alone. Gibberish is the word of the year. I've never heard as much gibberish as I had in 22, ever. All right, so we uh, giving you one more chance on uh, BillOReilly.com Christmas Hanukkah store. Uh, you get there today, we'll get it to you. We'll get the stuff. Premium and concierge memberships, you got it instantly. You get a free book, any book you want, okay? If you give a premium or concierge membership, you get Killing the Legends, any other book. Killing Jesus is a good book for uh, the, uh, the season. We're going to have a, a big clip on the movie Killing Jesus on Tuesday. Um, anyway, that's easy. And then we have other gifts. You know them. I've been telling you about them. Uh, so we hope you go in there, save a lot of money. These gifts matter. Uh, Killing Legends, I think I mentioned yesterday, number five on Barnes & Noble still after, you know, been out since September 27th. Come on. I think you'll really enjoy the book. makes a great gift. And then we have the three-pack, Killing the Mob, Killing the Killers, and uh, Killing Legends, $35 off. And he, listen to this. On the Barnes & Noble list, Killing the Killers came back. It's on the list this week. Wow. Okay, um, but please go in there. And you heard of the 12 Days of Christmas? Well, you got uh, 12 killing books. And believe me, when I tell you, you don't want swans in the house. Okay, not good. And Lords are leaping on the front lawn. I don't know what kind of message I sent, so check out the killing books. Word of the day, one of my favorites, don't be a Pecksniffian. If you say don't be Pecksniffian, you're wrong grammatically. Okay, don't be a Pick Sniffy and one of my favorites. Back with a final thought in a moment. If you are stuck in a timeshare and you haven't called Lone Star Transfer yet, what are you waiting for? Lone Star Transfer has helped more than 16,000 happy customers. They are family-owned, have a 99% success rate. Their process is done legally, ethically, and quickly. I mean, does it get better than that? The team at Lone Star Transfer will keep you informed every step of the way until you are legally and permanently released from your timeshare. So don't pay another penny for a timeshare you don't use. Get peace of mind today with Lone Star Transfer. They guarantee the release of all liability to your timeshare in writing and in a specific time frame. Give Lone Star Transfer a call for a free no obligation consultation. 855 855- 551-7066, 855-551-7066, or online at LoneStarTransfer.com. 
All right, here is the final thought of the day. I got a lot of mail uh, about finance. You know, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? People are panicking. Okay, I can't give you financial advice, but I can tell you what I am doing. And that's what I do to concierge members. So the concierge members send me, they're like, I have this, 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 and this. So what should I do? And then I say, here's what I would do, but I'm not telling you to do it. It's a subtle distinction, I know. But there's a lot of panic about money because Biden is such a poor president, he's not going to get any better. Interest rates went up a half point yesterday. Stock market went down. Wild swings in the stock market. And all I can tell you is this. This is what I'm doing. Nothing. I haven't bought a stock in months. All right. I'm not buying into, well, if you invest now, 18 years from now, it might be. No, it's too unstable. The stocks that I do have, all right, I have stop loss on. So if they hit a certain point, OK, it automatically sells. The ones that I have losses on that I haven't hit the stop, I'm just going to sit on it. OK, because I do believe the market will come back and nobody's ever going to know when. These charlatans, they get on TV and tell you, ah, it's going to come back. They don't. Nobody knows it's going to be a recession. They don't know how bad if there is one. Unemployment's probably going to rise, but nobody knows. So to me, I'm not a panic kind of guy. Okay? I'm not. I'm a methodical guy. I'm holding what I have. I am not buying equities now. Bonds, I see a good bond particularly a municipal bond that's tax-free, I'll take a look at it. But it's got to be at a discount. That's called buying below par. We'll buy above par. I, I, we gave you the U.S. savings bond tip. That was a tremendous tip. But you can only invest 10000 Okay, check that out. But just the best thing to do right now is nothing. Thank you for watching and listening to the No Spin News. We will see you on Monday. Important column, Sunday noon.